Folks, Fernando doing a short video here for the Modern Survivalists. I already did my video response regarding the situation with Benchmade and their anti-gun agenda. If you haven't seen it, basically Benchmade has been destroying guns in their facilities for the local police department. Don't understand why a knife company should be involved in the destruction of guns. You know, and they're also uh, donating money for anti-gun polit uh, politicians. But it, it is what it is. Now, the thing is, I have a message here from the last video. From This is from Street Tough. And he's saying, probably the best YouTuber response I've heard. I've been hitting the unsubscribe button pretty hard the last two days. I was, I mean, what the hell? Why? You know, what's, who could possibly think that... Uh, a knife company destroying knife, uh, destroying guns is something reasonable and who wouldn't be upset with that? And sure enough, the freaking shells that are out there and, you know, doing their thing. And, and it's, it is just sad. I mean, you can be very res respectful about it, but there, there has to be a limit somewhere. How cheap are you? How can you sell yourself out like that? I mean, who could possibly defend something like this. I mean, I understand that, you know, Hillary Clinton would defend something like this or Ocasio-Cortez, that chick from... Sure, they would be ecstatic and very happy about a knife company helping out in their anti-gun uh, uh, politics. But anyone from our community, people that are somewhat uh, conservative, uh, freedom-loving people that understand guns for what they are as tools for life and liberty, People that somewhat have that same core value regarding these things, who could possibly disagree with or who could possibly fail to understand why people would feel that they don't want to support with their money a company that does that kind of thing. And there's companies that have different politics and the owners of different companies. Now, it is one thing to have different political views. It is another to be directly involved in the destruction of firearms. I mean, that is as clear and as clean cut as it could possibly get. I'm not going to be buying a Benchmade knife in the for the rest of my life, and I'm more than okay with that. I'm not even batting my eye over it. It's just, I don't even own a Benchmade, Benchmade knife. In the previous video, I explained that I was even thinking about buying one, because I don't have one, even though I have a ton of knives. For whatever reason, I didn't have any of those. And I'm more than okay with that. I mean, you have companies like... Cold Steel, which is, you know, they came out just yesterday about being very pro-gun. Lynn Thompson from Cold Steel did a, did a video about this. Um, and he was very good in explaining that he doesn't get involved with, in politics, but as he well states, when it comes to the Second Amendment, when it comes to the right of owning firearms, then that's a line he's not willing to cross, and he's making a statement regarding that. And Kershaw did as well. How is it that some of these guys have to come out like complete shells, you know, bitching, complaining, and moaning about people saying they're not going to be buying any Benchmade knives anymore. They are, I mean, grow some balls, have some basic decency, don't go out like that. I mean, for real, it, it makes no sense. Are you really that scared that you're not going to be getting sent your your weekly or monthly little Benchmade knife? There's a ton of knife companies out there. You can buy knives for the rest of your life from any other company. But go out like that, defending that which is not possible to defend by any means. It, it is just pathetic. It, it's just sad to see th something like that. You want to buy an eye from a, a, a good company that's pro Second Amendment, that supports... Kershaw came out the last couple days or yesterday also saying that their stance on guns was, was pretty clear as well. You know, you have zero tolerance, they make fantastic knives. Get yourself one of these. These are great knives. Of course you will have to buy these yourself, you know. Uh, maybe you get these for free as well. That, that would be fantastic and good for you, but that's even worse. If you get knives for free from a ton of other people, why is it that you have to sell yourself so in such a pathetic way, so cheaply, just because so as to, so as to not anger Benchmade, who's sending you a, a few things? It is it, it, it's inexcusable. It has no no sense, and it just shows. You know, guys. It shows what, what's really out there. It shows how cheap people are. 
how easy it is to buy them out. And you shouldn't be surprised when going a little bit into the topic of what this channel is really about, about modern survivalism, you shouldn't be surprised when people fold like a freaking wet noodle because that's what people do. People sell themselves out for just a bench made knife and they will do it in other aspects of life as well. Uh, don't be surprised when you see uh, people do things that you simply would never do in your entire life and in ways that constantly keep amazing you. Guys, it's gonna be all for now. Remember, subscribe to the channel. See you on our next video. Have a great weekend.